you can see this circle icon is there this circle icon here you will be getting your vault username by the way this is my vault username as you can see test01 at the rate training.com this is my vault username like that way your vault username you will be seeing here in this section and from here you can log out there is a log out option if i click on log out i will be logged out now what i need to do is that i need to find the library option in your vault also you will be getting a library option what is this library library is central document repository like it's the storage place of all the document all the documents present in your vault will be available in the library so i'll go to the library option click on library and here in the library as you can see the first option that in the left i am seeing is view and here in the view i am right now in all library all library means what all library means all the documents here in all library i will i will be able to see all the documents present in my clinical vault application right now you can see in my vault i am having total 268 document here in the right hand side the number is mentioned 268 different different types of document are there word excel powerpoint whatever different things are there pdf now don't get confused with this terminology all library as i mentioned all library means all the documents present in your vault i am giving a practical example let's say in your viewa vault there are total 100 document now in the all library when when you log into your vault application in all library you cannot see 100 document you are not able to find 100 document rather you can only see let's say 60 document 60 you are not able to see the rest 40 document where is those other 40 document why cannot i see them in my library all library because you don't have permission to see all those document so this is the point that you need to remember when you are working in viva vault that although it is called as all library that does not mean you will be able to see all the document you will only be able to see only those document that you have permission for if you don't have a permission for a particular document then you will not be able to see that document so what might happen practically is let's say you are working in a pharma company in a clinical job role and you can only see 60 document uh, maybe 60 document and your colleague can see all the 100 document this can happen this type of scenario can happen your colleague can see all the document but you cannot see all the document why because your colleague have permission for all the document but you don't have permission for all the document you only have permission for 60 document and that's why you cannot see the rest 40 document because you don't have permission for them so all library means what all library means it will be showing you it will be displaying you all those documents that you have permission for if you don't have permission then you will not be able to see the document that is the meaning of all library then here in the left hand side you can see there is an option called as recent library what is the meaning of recent library recent library means it will be showing you those document that you have recently opened that you have recently accessed what is the meaning of that so that means i will go to the all, as you can see right now in my recent library there is nothing clearly mentioned you have not viewed any document recently in the in this tab select all library to see the complete list of document that you can access so i will be going to all library and from all library i will be just randomly opening any document for example let's take the first one only site 04 site initiation visit confirmation letter so i will be opening this document let me click on it and as you can see i have opened this particular document this is the document content here that you can see in the left hand side all the information and these things are there now if i go back to my library and if i click on recent library 
in recent library as you can see that the document is present that means what that means i have i have recently opened this document i have recently accessed this document and that's why it's coming in recent library then there is an option called as my library what is my library my library means here it will be showing you all those documents that you have personally uploaded using your viva vault user account right now using my viva vault user account which is test01 at the training.com using this viva vault account i have not uploaded any document and that's why here in my library nothing is coming and then in the left hand side of this all the document you can see this type of star mark icon is there what is the meaning of that so i can star mark this document and that means i am marking the document as a favorite document this document is going to be considered as my favorite document so for that what can i do let me mark it as star and now if i go to this favorite section you can see here in the left hand side there is a favorite section if i go to that favorite section you will see the document is present here as my favorite document important document so that's all these are all the views that you need to know here for now all library recent library my library and favorite now the next thing that i should explain here is here you can see there is a concept called as filter what is the meaning of filter filter means applying condition or criteria you can apply any kind of condition or criteria whatever you want for example here you can see right now in my library there are total 268 document now from this 268 document let's say i want to see only those particular document which is related to a particular study or i want to see those document which is related to a particular country or i want to see those document which is related to a particular site so all these things i can filter out i can the condition here you can see in the left i am having a filter based on study these are what these are all different different study number these are all different different clinical study present in my vault i can choose any study let's say i am selecting here this particular one vbp 1500 this is a study in my vault i will tick mark this option and then as you can see it is showing me all those document which is related to a part, this particular study in my vault right now i am having total five document related to that particular study and that's why here all those five documents are listed you can see on top the filter condition has been applied study vbp study equals to vbp 1500 so this is the meaning of applying a filter applying a filter means you are putting a condition or criteria and based on that the result is being displayed like this way i can apply further conditions also like i can mention the country and all these things that i am not doing so that is the meaning of selecting a filter and now let's see how can i upload the document finally these are some basic things that you saw now we are going to upload a document how can i do that so obviously in order to upload a document you need to come to library and here you can see in the right hand side corner there is a create button so i will be clicking on this blue color create button to upload a document so once i click on this create button this pop pop up box these options are coming we need to understand about all these four options one by one that we will see gradually so let's see the first option upload so all these four options upload placeholder document from template and binder all these four option will help me to really create a 